Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I have one heck of a video for you guys. I don't think I've ever been so excited to make a tumbler in my life. I'm sure you've probably seen them before, but this is my first time making them. I'm going to be making a Christmas tumbler with real LED lights on it. Um, you'll need a special kind of tumbler for this. You can't just use like your normal um, 20 ounce or 30 ounce or whatever. And you're going to need, I normally get my cups from Maker Flow Crafts, but Maker Flow Crafts does not carry this kind of tumbler. So I went to the Stainless Steel Depot. They have whole brand tumblers and this is a 20 ounce straw blur. So I ordered three of these and they came in today. And a straw blur is just like a normal tumbler, but it has like this little compartment on the bottom that you can unscrew. And see there's like a really deep compartment in there and that's gonna be really important for this tumbler. But on the bottom of that lid, that's where you can like store a little straw and it like unfolds. It's really cool. Um, it's got a little metal thing in it. And it also comes with um, little, I can get it, little like straw cleaners. So that's pretty cool. But, um, so yeah, that's really neat. But the reason why um, you need this tumbler is for that little compartment. My husband got this back in here so easily. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. There we go. Um, okay, hopefully it doesn't pop out. I feel like it's going to pop out. So you're going to need um, this big compartment right here, but I'm going to screw this back on so the straw doesn't pop out and go flying. So today is going to be like kind of the really easy part of it. All I'm going to do is go out and paint this white, Mod Podge my glitter on there. Tomorrow is when all the real work is going to come in, but I wanted to show you guys these lights that I'm going to put on. I got these on Amazon. They came in a pack of six. These are multicolored. I think it's like 3.3 feet or something like that. So they are Silapex brand. Pretty inexpensive for um, a pack of six on Amazon. So the reason why you need this compartment, this is where the battery pack is going to go, where it can be stored so it doesn't get like wet or anything so just for today i'm going to do the easy part i'm going to base paint this tumbler with white um two times rust-oleum i'm going to glitter it and then i'm going to seal it and put it on the turner for epoxy so let's get started with that process so um very poor paint job but it's okay because we're going to glitter it but I did want to show you guys, I taped off this inside here just to make sure no paint got inside of it. I don't think it would hurt anything, but um, I just didn't want any paint inside of it. So I'm going to try to rip all that out before I start here. I just wanted to show you all that I taped it up with some painter's tape. So I have my Mod Podge. I get it from Amazon. And I also got this from Amazon. It's a makeup brush. It was like a dollar. And I am just going to coat the entire tumbler. You could do this with epoxy if you would rather do the epoxy method. But it's just kind of quicker and easier for me personally to do it. What in the world went in my mouth? Um, do the Mod Podge method. Anyway, so I am just trying to make sure I get a even coat everywhere, making sure I get around the rim, but not inside of it there. I'll probably get some glitter inside of it. I'll just have to uh, scrape it out. And the glitter I'm using is Golf Sands from the Glitter Grind. I'll put their link in, a, in the description. This is my favorite, favorite white glitter from my favorite glitter company. 
I just ordered a bunch of glitter from them uh, last night. Yeah, yeah, last night, yesterday evening, really. And I got an email late last night that it had been shipped. So they even shipped it out on a Sunday night. Last night was a Sunday. So it should be here very soon. So that is coated with glitter. I am probably, oh, that was close. Just trying to tap off the excess. I am probably going to tape that back up on the bottom so no epoxy gets inside. I'm sure I folded this beforehand. But I'm going to go ahead and tape up that bottom well after I seal the glitter and everything and it dries. And then put it on the turner, add a coat of epoxy, and come back tomorrow. And that's when all the fun stuff starts. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day. This is completely cured. So now the fun part starts. Um, you're going to need a drill, which I am nervous about. Um, I took a pen and I marked like a little dot of where I want to drill. The reason why you're going to drill a hole through the tumbler because you know the battery pack's gonna go here so you're gonna be stringing your lights through that hole to wrap around the cup so let me put you guys down here and i feel like this is probably going to be really hard i have it sitting down on a towel to kind of help keep it halfway still so i'm just going to push it up against myself um this was the smallest drill bit i can find in my husband's toolbox i don't know anything about power tools so like don't make fun of me or anything but here we go. Whoa, go slow. Definitely go slow. Okay, so after like 10 more minutes of drilling, um, I finally got it and then the lights wouldn't fit through. So I had to keep going with bigger sizes. So this, like I said, don't make fun of me. I don't know much about um, like any sort of power tool at all. But if you are using, if you're gonna be using the same lights that I am, which I'll put the link in the description of those, but if you're gonna be using the same ones, uh, this bit, says one eighth that's the size that was like perfect for it to fit through so now just to kind of give you an idea let me get the lid to that battery pack so I mean not the battery pack the lid to this so your battery packs gonna go in there bam feed these lights through that hole Gently, so you don't want to mess anything up. Okay, and then this right here, there's no lights on that, so I really would rather keep that inside. Screw this on. Oh, that's another thing. This right here, where the straw stays in, um, this little compartment is going to have to be cut out because I, unless I'm real lucky with this battery pack, which would be awesome. Oh, I'm going to be so pumped if I don't have to cut that out. Oh, no way. Oh my God. Yep, I'm pumped. I'm excited. So if the battery pack was any bigger, you would have to cut out that compartment, which would be a real pain in the butt. But those these battery packs are tiny. 
so it fits right in that and you don't have to cut it out so obviously they're going to be more um you know like put together better than this but the, you can see where I tried to drill the first time. But this um, is basically what it's going to look like. I'm going to have a, a water slide image once I find the one that I like the best. Um, I want one that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. I wanted to do something with um, uh, like the, what's that movie called? Like the Lampoon's Christmas Vacation or something like that. I wanted to put Merry Christmas. Um, the You Know Why is full. I don't want to cuss on YouTube. But... I want to do that or like you serious Clark or something like that but um I will save that for another one I am just like really super excited about this let me turn this on so you can get an idea of what it's gonna look like ah. <laughs> I'm so excited okay so now I'm going to find a water slide get that printed out put it on here and we'll get these lights put on all right so here's the water slide that I chose um I got this on Etsy it was like four dollars I think um I looked through so many of them and I um, I love like the red truck with the Christmas tree in the back that's one of my favorite images so I chose this one um obviously you can choose any one that you want but I'm gonna go ahead and put that down in the water put you guys down here so you can see what I'm doing if you guys have not seen my water slide video I will link that at the end right now I'm just making sure this image doesn't curl too much Alright, so, and I forgot to mention to you guys, I did, I don't know how well this is going to work out, but I did put some tape in there to hold um, this down, and then I tried to cover up that um, hole with some E6000. Um, I think if you just kind of cover it up the best you can on the inside, once you put the epoxy out here um, and seal over that, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I think, I hope. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Let's hope so. I want to put the water slide image on the opposite side of where I drilled. So I'm just trying to cover up the battery pack and the lights so I don't get them wet while I'm doing this part. If this is ready yet give it a few more seconds in the water i try to make sure it's like really really ready to go because if not i always get like caught up and wrinkled on it so i think it's ready now though so i'm gonna put it about right there i think it's straight put out all of the wrinkles and the air bubbles or water bubbles whatever so now I'm actually going to set this in front of my little fan to make it dry quickly and then we get to put the lights on so now it's time to put the lights on I'm going to go ahead and put the battery pack inside with all of the wire that um, I don't plan on exposing on the outside of the cup. I just feel like that'll make it a little easier. I can get it on there, right?
right, so now it's time to put the lights on. I went ahead and put the battery pack on the inside to keep it out of the way. I feel like it'll be a little easier. Um, I am just kind of mapping out how I want this to go. I don't think it'll be a bad thing that it's over the words a little bit. I think that'll be fine. So I got my little super glue pen. Alright. Um, I'm going to start at the top. I'm just going to uh, get the first one on here. I'm just going to be dabbing um, a little bit of glue. Pushing the light down onto it. Trying not to super glue my <laughs> hands to the cup. It says to push down for 30 seconds. Um, and I'm also going to put some glue on the wires as well. So that worked. So I'm just going around to each um, light and gluing each little light down. I definitely recommend the super glue. Like it's doing it pretty quick. I've heard of um, Loctite, I think that's how, I'm, I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but I've heard of people using Loctite to do um, like the spray adhesive method for um, their tumblers. Let me get this out in a second. I want to Okay, let me see. I'm trying to make sure I stay on track with where I want to keep the lights. I'm sure this isn't going to be perfect. This is my first time um, doing this. I've seen people do the lights and do several coats of epoxy and then put the water slide on. Um, which is totally fine, but I just feel like that would take so much epoxy to get it smooth enough to put the, um, lights on. So that's the only reason why I did the water side and, um, then I'm going to do the lights. definitely a long process, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it. That's going to be awesome. And the camera definitely takes away from how beautiful and bright these lights are. I'm going to have to take like a video of it in the dark. You can also um, cover up these wires with glitter if you want, if you don't want the wires to show. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to be that pressed about it. I think it'll be okay with the wires showing. This glue is intense. You definitely don't have to hold down for 30 seconds. You can hold down for like three. It's crazy. Got this at the dollar store. I can't remember if it was Family Dollar or Dollar General, but it was one of those, one of them places. It 
is some intense blue, that's for sure. didn't want to stay on for some reason. Okay, where's the next one? Right there. That got on the wire and not the light, but that's okay. And the home stretch. I wouldn't worry too much about the wires being wobbly right now because of course you're going to be putting epoxy over all of this so it's going to stay in its place i might have to put like some white glitter over that little spot right there but that's okay under the wires right here too just in this one spot all right so the lights are on let's just see a rough idea of what it's going to look like the battery pack fell out Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. I love it. That's really neat. Where's the lid? That is super freaking cool oh my gosh okay so i'm gonna let it sit um, i'm just gonna work on some other cups for a little bit and then i'm going to put epoxy on it i will let you guys see me putting the first coat of epoxy on um it's probably gonna take oh my god maybe like four coats just to make it like decently smooth but that's what we have so far so i'm gonna let it sit and then we'll do epoxy Alright, so I've got my epoxy mixed up, and I did want to show you guys, um, I taped off the bottom of this just like I did when um, I first started and I spray painted it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a pretty generous coat of epoxy on. Um, I can't really tell you guys how much epoxy I mixed up. I mixed up a good bit. I have six or seven six i think other tumblers um, spinning right now so i mixed up quite a bit i'm 
I'm just trying to go very gentle over these wires. I don't want them to shift around. The first coat might not be perfect, but after today, everything is going to be in place pretty good. So tomorrow I can be a little more aggressive with it. stop there and I'm also going to hit it with just a little bit of heat not much at all because I don't want the heat to mess up something with the lights so I'm just trying to put more gloves on here because I'm pretty sure my heat gun has I don't want to touch that. So, okay, just did here and there to pop some air bubbles, and I'm wanting to take my off stands by glitter grind that I used um, in the beginning here. And I want to cover up some spots that I made with that drill. It might be a little difficult to do. Oh man. It is hard to do. Just trying to cover up the spots that I made. Guys, that is it for this tumbler. Um, of course, I'm going to have more epoxy on it than this. It's probably going to take another three coats to get it how I want it. But this was it for the Christmas light LED tumbler. If you guys have any questions at all, um, please feel free to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Two hours later.